everyone, it's Carolyn here to share another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings I channel for your awakening journey. So again, sorry about the voice, but I often record about two or three videos at the same time. So there you go. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. Welcome to everybody who's new on my YouTube channel, Carolyn Zeiser. If you are new to my story or to my channels, just check out my welcome video. It'll tell you a little bit more about me and how I began channeling the Light Keepers. Plus, I offer you a free gift video below in the description box. And it all talks about flow. Six tips on how to create flow in your body for health and wellness. Things you can do to help yourself during this awakening journey. Plus, it also offers you a bunch more free content as you follow that link. So again, thanks for everybody who always joins me. I'm going to get going on these channels. So this time again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to share three real short channels that are lumped together into, I guess I would say, a theme. And the theme is grab the gold ring. Grab that ring of life and live it. But then how we can go about doing more of that oftentimes when we don't think we can. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started right now on the first channel. The child in you speaks a language that you have not heard in some time. For it is with joyous abandon this little one speaks, and yet is still here for you to listen to when you take a step to open the door. The sweet child in you, again, curious to explore, will help you find your way to live life out loud once more. So with that channel, when we think about, like I said, grabbing the gold ring of life, think about what little children do. Oh my gosh. I mean, they want to try everything, right? I mean, yeah, there's some of them are a little scared, a little shy, but when they see other kids doing other things, they want to try stuff and they want to be silly and they want to have fun and they don't have all that societal stuff um, holding them back from looking silly doing something. And we do that as adults all the time. We miss out on so much because we think we need to be adults or somebody's going to be looking at us, talking about us. We need to be more like little kids and just have fun with abandon and try new things and just also experience things to the depth that little kids do. I mean, when they look at something, they really look at something. In fact, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to know every crack in the street in the sidewalk in my neighborhood because I would bike all the time, but and I would walk a lot too, but I knew all the cracks and I would always look for four leaf clovers. I remember that, like feeling like you're really close to the earth um, in a way where you see things that you didn't, don't see anymore as an adult. Like I remember looking for four leaf clovers, just laying in the grass in my parents' house, looking for them and I'd find them, <laughs> but I mean, those little things, look at the bugs, you know, collecting those bugs. I mean, but looking at life with just amazement. So that's part of grabbing that gold ring of life that's offered to us, not just breezing it by because now we're in adulthood and we just run around in chaos thinking about, you know, trying to get to the next place and get the next thing done. So we miss so much. But during the awakening, we have an opportunity comes our way because it's really about waking us up to more of that and to live the life that we're meant to lead, not this crazy rat race that we've been living for so long, so many of us, okay? So anyway, I, I love that little poem. I think it um, really speaks to a opportunity for us to, you know, look at the kids that walk by our neighborhood and think, oh, yeah, and engage them because they start making you feel like you want to try new things too. All right, so I'm going to get to the next channel. Okay, this one is super short, but it's neat. Blaze trails, for you are the map maker, breaking free and traveling your own path, lighting the way. So again, that goes to exploring. We have a great opportunity during the awakening, oftentimes to explore. And let me explain that. Many of us have kind of our lives break down to the point where, like with me, I didn't have a job, I lost my partner from brain cancer all in the same year. Um, I had me. I had a blank slate. What am I going to do? So all of a sudden, we have this opportunity to explore something new. Now, a lot of us go, eh, you know, freak out over that, right? But no, we have all opportunity to chart our own course. But what we've gotten so used to is getting routed right back in to that mainstream way of living. 
Okay, now we could talk about money all day long. That's kind of another conversation, but let's just put that away for a minute because to me it's a construct. And if we start putting faith and trust into this process, things work out for us. But the point is, is we are our own map maker. We have the opportunity to create anything we want in our life and following that passion, following that, that um, trail of our own making. It doesn't have to be somebody else's. This is what the awakening is about, being you, finding you, doing you, not someone else or what someone else has told you you have to be. This is the time to become the true you. So anyway, I love that one. Okay, I'm going to get to the last one now. But these are on my Facebook page. So Purple Rain Healing. If you want to go join in over there, you can get a whole bunch. I've been doing three a week, I think it is, um, for a year and a half. So I'm also getting ready to create a book of poetry, which I am so excited about. I'm going to combine all these, um, the ones I like the most, and put them into a book. And so I'm going to work on that here soon. I just need to set some time aside. So I'll keep you posted on that. Anyway, here's the third one. Trial and error is a life well led. Experimenting with much instead of sitting back and letting it go. This life that you came to live with gusto. So again, that's a little one, but it is so true because here's another part of this, the theme of this. Often we're just scared to try something new. I mean, first of all, we're scared because we don't want to fail. Well, you know what? How are you going to know if you can do anything if you don't try? And yeah, that's all learning is about failing in many ways. And it's about continuing to practice to get things right. And experimenting with new ways of doing things. So the point is, is rather than setting that thing aside that you have wanted to do so long and keep saying, I can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah, you can. You can try. At least try. And then you'll know. But again, a lot of it also comes with practice. A lot of it comes with um, taking advantage of just the mere fact that that opportunity is there for us. And if we go to pursue it, I firmly believe we can do almost anything we want to do. And so much of what we do to ourselves is holding is holding our own selves back because we're fearful. We um, don't think we can do it. We think we're going to look foolish. We're always worried about what somebody else is going to think, a lot of us. And that kind of breaks down in the awakening. You kind of start to not care. And then you really don't care in the sense of, I don't care if I look silly and foolish. I don't care. I'm going to be me. I'm going to express me in my fullness. And that also has to do with living life. Go and do different things. Go do what you've always wanted to do. Don't let it hold you back. And if you're in a frump and you're in a bad way right now with the awakening, that's probably one of the best things you can do is pick one thing that's new. Go do it. Go try it. Just go do it. And you will be amazed at what energizing it will offer to your own soul. So this is a theme of get out there and do it. Explore, experiment, be you, test you, do all the cool things you've always wanted to do. Try them. I mean, I know we are limited by the time in our day and all of that good stuff in our families and all of that, but those are often excuses. So pick something, pick something new this summer. I would challenge you to do that, okay? Pick one thing new big thing you wanted to do. It doesn't have to be big, but whatever big means to you, right? And go do it. Put your toe in the water and go live life out loud and grab that gold ring. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today. And again, I will mention to you, check out purplerainhealing.com for my services on spiritual awakening mentor mentoring, where I help you along your awakening journey. And I bring in a lot of channeled information during our, our hour long sessions. And they're super powerful. I channel also offering you channeled personal messages, and I do distance energy healing along with channeled messages. So check it out. I would absolutely love to work with you. And thank you so much for joining me again, and I will see you in the next video.